everybody and welcome to Divine Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name is Nicole Reed, and today we are going to be doing the Colonial Knot. Now, the pattern that I've got here in front of me has been traced out. It is available in Down the Rabbit Hole magazine. And basically you trace out that and then we're going to do some candle wicking. So the knot that is used in candle wicking is the Colonial Knot. And you can see here that I've already done some. Okay, I'm using white thread today because it just shows up a little bit better on camera than what um, the cream thread was showing up. So each of these dots are going to represent a knot. So to do our colonial knot, we're just going to come up from the bottom in our marked spot. And I've used a friction pen today, so I can, um, once the heat hits this, it'll just go away. Um, I'm not gonna iron the knots or anything like that, but I will just put the iron in and that will get rid of that. So once we've got our uh, working thread coming up through our fabric, we want to create a backward C and we're going to put our needle on top of that and then go underneath just like so. Then we're going to take our working thread and we're going to go over the top and back under again and you can see there it creates like a figure eight. Now we're going to put a little bit of tension on that and we're going to put our needle beside where we've come out in the fabric but not in the same spot and we're going to go down. And we're going to keep a little bit of tension on our working thread and then we're going to pull that through. Not pulling too hard because if we pull too hard it'll pop through to the back. So just giving it a little bit of tension and you should be good to go. Alright and now we'll just go down to our next one. We're going to come up again. Now it's really good to have a free stand like what I've got here so you can see it moves around and I can get underneath my work and both of my hands are free and clear to work the threads. This is a pretty old um, stand that I've got and um, it does need to have uh, the outer hoop wrapped with some cotton um, twill but I didn't have any here so all right so again we're going to create our backward C we're going to take our needle on top and under okay our working thread is going to go over the top and under to create our figure eight. I'm going to put a little bit of tension on that and we're going to go into the fabric whoop, just beside where we came out okay and just keeping a little bit of tension on our working thread making sure we don't get all tangled up and we're just going to pull that through until we've created our knot remembering not to pull too hard okay so I'll show you that again coming up Backward C, under, over, creating our figure eight, and down. Coming up again, creating our backward C, going under, bringing our working thread up and over, creating our figure eight going down in the fabric beside where we've come out but not in the same hole. If you go into the same hole you'll just end up pulling your knot straight through. Now I'm just using a Pearl 8 uh, thread today a DMC. It's readily available in my area so that's why I'm using it. And you're just going to keep going following your design. So remember a backward C, put the thread under so a needle goes underneath the thread our working thread comes around and you can see there it makes like a figure eight pull that a little bit tight and then just beside where you came out but not in the same hole you are going to create your knot now as I said if you are looking for this design you can find it in the latest copy of down the rabbit hole magazine um, we had an article in there about candle wicking and uh, I decided decided that I would do a little pattern for it and it is the orange peel pattern 
and it makes a nice little cushion. The cushion video is to follow. Just remember not to pull too hard because if you pull too hard you are going to pull your knot through your fabric and then you will have to uh, start again. Now each knot is around about a quarter of an inch apart and that gives it a nice even look and as I said I will basically just put the iron without actually ironing it um, I will just put the iron beside it and that will um, get rid of any of the marks preferably you want to use a water erasable or an air erasable marker because they will just disappear over time um, and, or as soon as you wash it it will just disappear I generally don't use them very often I use the friction pens and I have them all through my sewing room um, I tried to find my erasable marker and I think it's actually been thrown out because um, it had dried out so um, Preferably you want to use, as I said, you want to use a water soluble or air erasable marker. It'll just make your life so much easier. This is going to be a little bit tricky to get rid of all of the, um, all of the dots, but I'm sure I'll be okay if I just get in there with the little iron and, and um, get that sorted. All right, so when you're, as, as you're walk, working too, you can move your work around. You'll find that a little bit easier. Um, I just be careful and mindful that you don't actually get caught up around the legs of your stand. Um, you can also use a seated stand as, um, so one that you sit on as well. So you can see there that we're starting to come back around and it's creating our little um, leaf or flower for our orange peel design. So you can see once you get the hang of it you do start to move through it very quickly so basically I know that I've got to go under that thread so I hold it I go under oh, and bring that around and down okay so going up going around down Okay, so as I'm coming up to the end here, I will slow it down again and you can see what we're doing. So we want a backward C, okay? Our working thread is going off that way. We're going to put our needle on top and underneath. We're going to bring our working thread up and over and around. So you can see there, it looks like a figure eight. We're gonna put a little bit of tension on that. And then we're going to go down in the fabric just beside where we came out not in the same hole because you will pull your knot through and then we hold on to our tension and be gentle not to pull our thread through so a backward C underneath over under pull it tight not too tight down beside where we came out and there we go all right so that is the colonial knot now don't forget to share if you have got the down the rabbit hole magazine and you have um uh, you are doing the the uh candle wicking don't forget to come over and join dd's quilting and crafting group and that way you can share everything that you're doing um whether it be from the channel from the magazine or just somewhere else and uh because we all love to see what you're working on all right so that is the colonial knot i hope that you enjoyed this video and that you've got something out of it um as i said don't forget to come over and join our facebook group and that way you can share what you're what you're um working on and uh 
don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends um, that might be wanting to learn how to do colonial knots. Thanks again for joining me today. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.